Hi students, just a couple of quick points before you get started on the mole calculation assignment. Uh, first point, you're welcome to use the mole conversion chart as a resource to help you in this assignment. We are looking for whether you can understand how to convert between moles, molecules, and atoms. So just focusing on those bottom three conversions, you're more than welcome to use that resource if it's helpful to you. Also, a couple of really important points when you type your answers in for this assignment. Um, this assignment is set up to be marked automatically so that you get quick feedback on how you're doing with these types of calculations. So it is important that your answer is typed in a certain way so that it's recognized uh, and, and you, you do get the correct mark for it. So please make sure that you're using Avogadro's number as 6.02 times 10 to the 23. Please don't use uh, a number with more than two decimal places for Avogadro's number or less than two decimal places because you will get a different answer. So important to remember that. Uh, secondly, units and sig figs are worth a half of a mark each in your answer so please remember to check for sig figs. Also check for to make sure that you've included units in your answer. So you're going to write your numeric answer as well as the units that go along with it. When you write your units, please just include um, units of molecules, atoms, moles, for example, but please don't write the name of the compound. Uh, it won't, the answer won't be recognized. Um, if the, you will lose a half a mark for your units if you have the name of the compound written uh, in your answer. If that happens, just let your course teacher know and we can return that mark, that part mark, but it is a, it's helpful if you can just uh, leave the uh, name of the compound off of your answer and that way you get the mark right away. Best of luck on this assignment as you get going.